Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord, you're welcome to Sunday, the 31st of May, 2020. It's a wonderful month that God helped us through so much and we want to appreciate him for his faithfulness and his goodness. We're looking today at the topic, going all the way with God, the temptation. The Bible says, and thou shalt say unto him, the Lord God of the Hebrews, has sent me unto you, saying, Let my people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. And behold, hitherto thou wouldest not hear. Exodus chapter 7 verse 16. Thought for the day. The best of God is reserved for those who go far with him. It is true that the two key proofs of dedication to God our worship and service, that is, to worship and serve Him. Service is a major proof of our dedication to God. Profitable service equals productive living. When we serve God profitably, we live productively. The devil is aware that there are profits in serving God, so he does everything to fight your dedication to God and the dividends of that dedication. He wants you to be lukewarm, lethargic, and complacent because he knows that fervent service in God produces fireful results. Now, there are temptations that hinder effective service, and we are dealing with one of them today. That is the temptation not to go far in service to God. That was the first temptation that Pharaoh confronted the children of Israel with in Exodus chapter 8 and 27. Pharaoh seemed to be saying, oh, you can do anything you want to do with God for as long as you do not do it too much, not being too serious with God. Is a temptation that the devil always throws at his the children of God and presents. Some people may tell you, oh, don't be a fanatic. Don't carry church on your head. Don't kill yourself because of God. Do anything you want to do with God, but just take it easy. God understands, and so on and so forth. These are evil counsels sponsored by the devil to discourage you from going all the way with God. But beloved, the best of God is reserved for those who go far with him. The best of God is reserved for those who go all the way with him. Seriousness with God is the way of gloriousness in life. Remember this, the best of God is reserved for those who go far with him. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, be faithful in your service to God, not for eye service or man pleasing. Do not be discouraged in serving God. Go with God all the way. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I receive the grace to escape the temptations that hinder me from effective service. Today, I overcome and I rise above every mockery targeted at my life hindering my service to you, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Congratulations. The Lord bless you. I'd like to pray for somebody today who wants to be born again. You want to say, I don't want to be hindered from serving God again. I want to be born again. I want my life to be right with God. Anywhere you are, pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, come into my life and be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, today is the last day of the month uh, of May, and we are reading uh, Psalm 67 to 69. And so please do yourself that favor and stay up to date 
with what God is doing. And I believe that his blessings will be unleashed upon you in the name of Jesus. God bless you and you have a wonderful day. Place of revival. It is a place of His presence.